Day Light Day. Hey, welcome back. We're here in West Oakland and got called for the MPDWC uh, Manifest Train. Uh, it's kind of a working train, did a lot of work uh, in route, but uh, out of Portland to West Colton, and then there was the counterport, excuse me, uh, counterpart or sister train, uh, MWCPD, and uh, oh, they ran that for a while, and things always change, you know, as far as trains change and everything like that. Working with another new guy, Don Mousseau. Don't know anything about him, but he said he'll tell me a story about himself here. Uh, but we're going to go get our train. Uh, they brought the train into the desert yard, which is also known as my staging yard. Um, and we'll bring it in here. we got a little work here to do in Oakland. Then we got a little work to do at Warm Springs. And train goes south down to West Colton. Um, via the coast sub. Uh, oh, tonight's movie, Lethal Weapon. Pull out of my desert yard here. We're all on board. And... Knocked off the handbrake, so we'll pull up here and make a set up, and we're gonna pick up here and um, West Oak. Hey, um, you know, I mentioned I was gonna go over all that paperwork, and I'm kind of saving that for another day because um, today was real stormy here in Northern California, so I've just been hanging out in the layout room. So that's uh, kind of a sit down job as far as doing all that paperwork in the house. But I don't have the heat on the house; so I just have the heat on the layout room. So what the heck? As we pull in here. Yeah, we're told to pull into this four rail and do our work. We're going to set out there in the one rail, a uh, clear rail off to, well, just to the right of those uh, cement hoppers. And we got pickup on three. How many cars we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven car pickup. Skitter done, daylight time. Skitter done, brother. Those reefers are going to get set out there at Salinas. The South Bowl Express, and oh, we got some beer. Beer's coming into West Oak, man. We can handle that. Yeah, for the lumber places here, the wood chip cars. And a couple empty box cars, and that's our set out right there. Yeah, fumbles unconscious next to the heater. Oh, what do you know? We're gonna go ahead and block this crossing uh, since it's uh, owned by the UP, but. We'll make our cut short of this uh, public road crossing right here by, by the Magnolia Tower. Take Don up here. Get ourselves lined out. Got permission to come out here. You should come out the east end or the south end, depending on which year you're in. Technically, I'm not supposed to follow this other... Um, track until I line that switch, but um, olden days, man, engineer would just take you right up to the point, but you're not supposed to do that anymore, so, but what the heck, we're going to do it anyways, come on, Don, buddy, tell me your story, I don't know why, he brought a big old box of for something, I'm not sure what he's got in that box, but he's got it in the engine here, we'll find out in a little bit, hey, Don, got us a line up here, oop, got an track train. Got a restricting signal, so daylight day's all good. And we'll make the cut here. Yeah, daylight day. Yeah. Make the cut after these reefers. Selena's bound. Salad Bowl Express. Daylight day, make the middle bit back. Better now, let's go. Ooh, don't do that like that. Hey, Don, buddy, you made the cut in the wrong spot. No, we ain't setting those reefers out. What the hell are you thinking? Oh, man, now we got ourselves screwed up here. What's happened to me where either I, as a conductor, being new, is screwed up, or um, I've had new conductors that screwed up, but you just kind of deal with it, and you don't, don't let it bother you, but... um. Hey, anyway, we like David. Come on back, buddy. Let's go to a hook. About half or a hook. Okay, come on back here. Let's go down, buddy. Come on. Not sure where you worked or what you do, but uh, man, better get your stuff together here. Okay, we're on their time. We're on their time. Put the air to it. Okay, they like David. Ain't taking about five or five or nine. And so I had this train. I had the counterpart, the uh, MWCPD, and. 
picked it up there by the Oakland Coliseum. The um, San Luis Obispo crew died. So I got it, and he's telling me, the conductor's telling me all the setouts and pickups, and the whole train's messed up as far as the setout in West Oak. And I was so confused, and I was fairly new, and I'm like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, that'll do, they like it. What that do, that do. So anyways, we get on the train, we take it into West Oak, and, um, oh gosh darn it, I'm drawing a blank on what's her name. West Oak! Oh, help me out, you guys are going to tell me like ASAP, but I'll think about it afterwards. But anyways, I always got along with her. She was the yard master there, so I'm pulling through the yard, or I'm on the ground, and the engineer's pulling through the yard. What that do, they like that, what that do, that do, that do. Okay, they like, hey, hey, come on back. You're clear for 20. I'll line back into the one rail. Winner, winner, winner. Yeah, we'll put them right there in that clear rail. This track on the left, that's kind of my, um, well, you call it uh, my clear rail. Let's just put it that way. My running rail. Hey, give me fiber. They like, day fiber. Three or now, three or. Eh, one or. Eh, that do, that do, they like that do. Man, I really got myself screwed up. I'm too busy, like, recording and talking, but, um, this is my pickup rails. Um, actually, we'll send it out here. We're good. We'll send it out here. We're supposed to send it out one, but, um, Oh, Yardmaster said, yeah, that's fine. Just leave it in two rails, so. Our pickup's right here. A tank car and a few more cars. We're doing our time. We're doing our time. Yeah, day like that. Anyway, so, man, I'm as screwed up as I was working that third train. <laughs> WCPD. So we're pulling through the yard. I'm like, I have no idea where the cut's supposed to be as far as our setup and stuff. And, Oh, so the yard master says, hey, you're pulling by where your cut's supposed to be. I'm like, man, I don't even know where it's at. <laughs> and, of course, now I tell her. But she helped me out with it and got through it and made her set out there. So I don't think we had a pickup. I think we just had a set out there. But Oh, well. Crazy stories. I got to do like that, that do. And Don, now you got to walk all the way up there. Maybe you should have rode that thing. Rode the rear. Look a good day like that. Look a good brother. Ooh, give me Bob. Yeah, maybe just about one more. We'll make a quick safety stop. Okay, water, water. That do day like that. Oh, that do, that do. Okay, day like that. Hey, come on back, one hooker. <laughs> one hooker. Oh, man, Holly. Damn, I miss you, girl. Half or now, and eh, 20 feet. Yeah, that do they like they want that do the middle stretch. Stretcher, stretch. Come on, they like, oh, that do, we're doing air time, we're doing air time. Man, Don, you're doing a pretty good job, brother. Thanks for lining me into the wrong rail. Hey, they like they bust the move, take it in, about, ooh, what we got, about five, six cars, five, six now. Hey, yeah. I mentioned to you guys before, these are my only um, SD60s, older P2Ks. I've had them for 15 years plus. Run great. They're heavy as heck. And I hardly ever have to clean the wheels on those guys. I don't know why, if it's the wheels or if it's the weight. But, man, I very rarely have to clean the wheels. And they just are so smooth. But a number of years ago, I did take it all apart. I seems like on engines about every 10 years or so. You had to do a complete uh, overhaul, uh, pull apart all the, the gears and the axles and clean everything up. And in my case, unfortunately, I get some cat hair in my axles, too, which isn't all that fun. But, oh, well, I deal with it. Ooh, we're going to ride the old bulkhead, cut down bulkhead. Um, this is a real common car. Um, he's taking a ton of rebar out in the Livermore area and you know, we're all full of rebar. But uh, these cars worked out perfect for that. So what the heck am I to ride it? Clear this crossing. No traffic, no traffic. 
get up to the switcher. Oh, yeah, that'll do there. Easy stop, day like that. Easy stop. Don't throw me off, brother. Hey, was an Amtrak gonna go? You know, Jack London Square there and, um, oh, in Oakland. That was kind of the starting and ending point for some of the Amtrak trains. And, hey, Mr. Approach Diverging, you know all that uh, information, but, um, uh, starting and ending point for some of them. Others were, well, all over the account. I'm not even going to go into that, but, um, he's on the move. Come on, bullet! I'm not really using the right throttle for this, but um, he's on the move. Hey, they like they come on back. Oh, about four door, four dockers. And three, give me three now. Like that, but one and a half now. One and a half. One and a half. A little more. They like that. A little more. Oh, give me a little more. They like that. Give me more. 20 feet. And down two. Give me a little stretch. Stretcher. Oh, down two. They like that. Very good hook. Hey, we're all together here at West Oak, and Don says, hey, he took one of his little boxes back to that second unit. What the hell's going on, Don, buddy? He says, hey, we're good to go. We're going to head down to Warm Springs and do the same thing down there. Man, if you don't like yelling and screaming, you ain't going to like this movie. I made a phone call trying to figure out who this guy is. Man, what's he think he's doing? Who does he think he is? And guess what? I just found out his middle name. Oh, no. Yeah, you got it. His middle name is Bacardi. Don Bacardi Musso. He's from Cuba, and apparently he's the founder of Bacardi. Man, he probably has excellent taste. Woo, well, cool. We're going to party down at Warm Springs. What's up, photo? This is my cat that's banned from the layout room. Photo boat. I know, you're hungry, huh? You hungry? Yeah, pull it out of West Oak. Man, we got a good-sized train, too. Hey, who's your tail in? Hey, advance approach here, CP30, for fail, for fail, for fail. Yeah, the switch shop's got to come out and pick up the scrap. The scrap goes out to, um, I had to think about it there for a second. It used to be a steel plant out at Provo, Utah, and, um, when I did my engineer, uh, cleaning, uh, training class, excuse me, um, it was out in Salt Lake City, so I stayed out there for three weeks. Three long weeks. The first two weeks were kind of fun. The third week was like, I'm ready to go home. But anyways, um, I drove down to the steel place, and it had been closed, but it was still there, and it's probably all gone by now. So I'm sure some of you guys can probably tell me. So that's where my steel goes to Provo. Yeah, pretty place. Economy's good, man. Print those magazines. Oh, East Oakland. That's looking pretty empty here. Yeah, we got the usual suspects here in East Oakland. Man. Living the good life. Homeless USA, East Oakland. Ooh. Real fan from the bridge. You like that, everybody? I was looking for you. Oh, sweet. You know where I just went through um, the switch before this switch? Um... Oh, it was a few days ago. I was just running a train out here, playing around, and um, yeah, these engines are so quiet too. Anyways, all of a sudden they stopped, and uh, turns out there was a screw in the switch points, and it kind of caught the plow of uh, one of my engines. And I'm like, I got found the screw, and I'm like, oh great, it's a screw out of one of the cars that dropped out of the trucks. I go, there's no way, you know, the, everything's fine as long as, as soon as you pick up that car, you know, the truck's going to drop off. But it's like, if everything's intact, I have no idea where that screw came out until I pick up that car. At some point over the next year, I'll probably find it. But it's like, eh. It's like, okay, whatever, but I just saved the screw. Hey, we're going to hook it right here. Mr. Medello's Tower, hey. 
Hey, buddy, I called him up in the cell. I said, man, meet us down in San Jose. I got Mr. Bacardi with me. Man, we got some fun. He says, yeah, I'm going to be off in a few hours. So, yeah, what the heck? Man, I can't, <laughs> can't tell you how excited he is. He's like, yeah, heck yeah, Mr. Bacardi, man. I think I told you, um, I was at a Mexican, like, bar restaurant, um, Oh, this is in the early on this year, but um, they had a spokesperson come from um, Casadores, or from, from I should say from Mexico. I'll talk for a second while um, Don's got to get a switch there north uh, Warmsburg. Anyways, um, from Casadores, um, it was pretty cool tequila, and he gave a talk to the owners and to the employees of the Mexican restaurant. Um, and I guess he knows them or something like that. But I sat in with them because I, I know those guys. So it was really, it was really pretty cool. All the different stuff they make and how they make it. As my North Warm Springs area, I go, this really isn't that hard to finish. I just need to finish from um, this point to all kind of where it's balanced. And obviously you can see, you know, in uh, North Warm Springs, they had a place where um, you set out different tank cars and they were transferred, you know, the... Uh, commodities or whatever transferred to trucks and taken to whatever business was down in that area so same thing with the lumber there's a lumber place there and i think they killed that off i don't think the lumber place is there anymore I'm not sure if they have much more room to build houses they built so many condos down there that area and houses actually we were all good we're all lined so we're working on a clear signal anyway so we're all lined through here me and dot dot mccarty Musso. We'll take a little bit of a break. And back five, railroad leasing company. Hey, you want to lease an engine, buddy? I got them sitting right here. Stored serviceable, leg. Hey, send us some money. So, yeah, I hate getting leased engines because I swear half the time they'd break down or they weren't running and you just drag around. That's all we did. We just drug them around, so... I got, uh, it was kind of a pain in the butt. Anyways, here at Warm Springs, we got three to set out. We got these four cars to pick up, these guys right here. Come on down, buddy. Hey, we got to go to work. Do a quick little job here, and then we'll run down to San Jose, and we're going to give it to San Luis Obispo crew. That works for me. Yeah, baby. Speaking of Casadores, there's Miss Casadores right there. Manager down here at Warm Springs. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Okay, changing the subject for a second. You know what my New Year's resolution was um, first of this year, back in January 1st, was um, to stop watching local news. And I go, man, it's so depressing. I just feel so good. And I still watch the national news just to see what's kind of going on from time to time. But I go, man, I, once I cut out that local news, I go, oh, it is just so depressing. Gosh. Anyways. Okay, daylight day, won't doubt, dude. Let's make a cut here. We're going to make a cut here. Um... Between these two guys. Okay, you know what? Speaking of national news, man, we're ready to go on strike, man. BLE, we're like ready to go on strike. Hey, we want our sick leave pay. Oh, man. Yeah, day like day. Give me a six card. Ooh, easy, brother. Easy. I'm barely hanging on. Ooh, jeepers. Ooh, cruising the boozing. Life is good, Miss Casadores. Don Bacardi, Musso. Ooh, don't get any better than this. Oh, that'll do, day like this. Oh, that'll do easy stop, easy stop. Day like this, come on back. We're well, good for 12 hours, 12 hours, 12 hours now. Give it back. Oh, dear, like that, hey, give me about two or now, two or. Eh, one or. Ooh, down do, day like that. Oh, down do, down do. Yeah, like I mentioned, we gotta pick up these four cars right there. One track over. Yeah, day like that, about three to clear the way. It's three or now. Yeah. Hey, Okay, day like day, day, about two and a half to two and a half now. Okay, no day like day. Ooh, water. And after. 
water. Eh, about 20 feet. Eh, don't do that like that. Oh, don't do. Give me a stretch, stretch. Oh, don't do that like that. We're zone earth type. Take it in, daylight, Dave. Oh, give me about six, seven cars here. Clear the switch. Put this train back together. Let's get down to San Jose and get this job over with. Heck yeah, man. We're running overtime right now. Past my 15-minute mark. Hey, daylight, Dave. Hey, come on back. About four to hook. Four now. Not 100% sure if I'm going to keep the semaphores here or not, but... Eh, they look cool, huh? You're on the move. All moving. All moving. About three to joint, three now to a joint. Two or two or now. And one. Easy, easy, after, easy. 20 feet. And don't do that late, Dave. Give me a little stretch. Stretch. Who don't do it? So dirty. Okay, guys, hey, we're all together here. Uh, Mr. Don Musso, he's back on board, and about an hour, we're going to go and have a good time. So I appreciate you guys watching. Yeah, we're going to hand a train over there to um, the San Luis Obispo crew in San Jose. So a lot of fun places to go to uh, downtown San Jose. A lot of good restaurants, a lot of good bars. Man, I had a good time down there when I used to stay overnight and stay over during the daytime. It's like always something to do, so... Anyways, appreciate you guys. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. I don't know what else to say, but hey, have a great weekend because I sure am. So, daylight, Dave. I'm signing out, brother.